Monday morning, everybody. I am cooking up some maple sausage links right now, some bologna, getting breakfast going. But this evening, we're gonna make a shepherd's pie together. Me and you. Sean might do it. One of us are gonna do it, but we've already got all the stuff. I went and got that yesterday at the grocery store, so this evening, shepherd's pie. Gonna get the kids fed, clothes changed, and then we got to step into homeschool for the next few hours. We actually skipped Friday. I don't know if y'all remember, it was a year ago or more. Me and Sean purchased the Purple mattress. Shout out to Purple because they corrected this instantly. We got the number two Purple, but the outer rim of it is foam, and then the inside grid of it is the Purple grid. The most comfortable bed we've ever had in our lives. We love our bed. The outer foam started separating away from the purple grid. So we were like, hmm, this can't be right. <laughs> you know, it's a king size bed. Me and Sean are definitely not people that lay in the bed all day. We go to bed, we sleep, and we're up six, seven o'clock in the morning. That's it. We're not back in the bed until we go to bed. It doesn't get a lot of use besides sleeping. We don't lay around in the bed. We don't sit around and watch TV in the bed, you know. But apparently, it was something to do with that model of bed. So we called them and we were like, hey, you know, this is happening. They were like, oh yeah, no problem. You guys will give you full credit. Come pick your mattress out and we'll deliver your new one and take your old one out for you. Absolute shout out to Purple for that. It was the easiest, best process I think we've ever had to deal with, right? Like I called Purple and we didn't even buy it from them and they like went to bat and was like, yeah, this was a default mattress. We're going to replace it. Let us call them. What was it, 15 minutes? Yeah, it was, back, it was like, so fast and easy. So, like I was saying, they gave us full credit for it from the store that we bought it at that sells the purple uh, mattresses. Mm -hmm. So they called and were like, hey, you know, you only have so many days on that. So hey! we had to take Friday and drive to Pikeville and go over there and get pick out our new mattress. And we went with purple again because y'all, if you've ever had a purple mattress, I mean, they're like sleeping on a cloud. So nice. We spent all of Friday over in Pikeville doing that. And since we were all the way over there, an hour away, we just went ahead and went out to eat and done a couple other things. So we skipped homeschool Friday, didn't we? Did we go pick us a new bed out? Yeah, did you try all, he, him and Chloe tried every bed in the store, if you know what I mean. Even the people that work over there. I mean, it was just a great experience, so. What? You don't like that spoon? I want different spoon. Are you a big girl now? I want a different spoon. Daddy, she needs a big girl spoon. What do you want to drink this morning? Hey, Mom. I want this one. Chow milk. Chow milk. Okay. I don't know how well you can see that. That is a persimmon seed. If you cut a persimmon seed in half and it's got a fork in it, you're supposed to have a mild weather. If it's got a knife in it, you're gonna have a cold weather. Or if it looks like that and has a spoon in it, you're gonna have a snowy weather. I have seen about 500 videos of everybody cutting the persimmon seeds open this year and every single one of them has a spoon. So I was going to today go in the backyard and get us a spot prepared for sledding this year. I've already been looking at sleds. I went crazy looking at sleds. I'm probably going to get two or three different ones for the kids. See which one works best, which one they like the most. That way Chloe's got one, Colton's got one, Megan's got one, and I got one. And we can just choo 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 down that hill. But every single time I've tried to walk outside and it rains. When I come in the house, it'll stop raining. And not to mention, it's only like 48 degrees here, so I know winter's coming soon. That's why I want to get this spot ready for the kids, because if I can make it work, I want to try to make it to where we can come down the hill, curve through the yard, go underneath the shed, come out the other side, and do like a Griswold family sleigh ride. Actually, I might do a Griswold Christmas just for the, the giggles of it and light this house up like crazy. I've been looking at those Govee lights that you can put underneath the, the soffit of your house. Thought about ordering a set of them to light this house up. But, but as far as going out right now and working on the sledding hill, it's not happening because the weather's not permitting. 
What well, what is this? Are you checking the, the weather for this fall? Well, I was just explaining to them <laughs> about the persimmon seeds. Yes, and the, the spoon. The spoon and the yep. fork, in case they didn't know it. You just concerned that it's going to be a cold no. I, no, I, listen, it's not going to be a cold winter. They're all showing spoons, so that doesn't mean it's going to necessarily be cold. Just a lot of snow. So, I, along with that, we got to get our generators ready. We got the coolest generator, y'all. I've already put this thing to the test. It's an EcoFlow power bank. You can run a TV and a game system for like five hours and still have like 25, 30% on this thing. So as far as charging phones, playing radios, anything small in the house, maybe just to help occupy the kids a little bit if the power goes out this thing is awesome and the cool thing about it is even if the power goes out we've got two solar panels that we plug in that charges it within a few hours and we can hook the solar panels up and keep this thing going even while we're using it so it's awesome it's a definitely a good little backup that we got it's the da, 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 I don't even, River 2 Pro. Definitely a good little backup to have to go along with our gas generator, which we use to like power the refrigerators and stuff like that. So, and we got the propane. So if the, you know, power goes out, we can heat. So we've got the Blackstone and the grill. If we have to cook, listen, hillbillies will survive. We will make it through if the power goes out. But this is definitely a good little addition to have. Okay, you guys, got a little surprise in the mail for my boy. Now, his birthday is coming up next month. This isn't a birthday present. I considered letting it be one, and I was like, you know, he's going to be five. He, he could absolutely, he's really going to care less about it. But winter times are coming. As you can see, his bedspread is pretty dark. We picked that one out last year. I think it was last year. The, I don't know. The, this bedroom needs brightened up some, and I figured... A new comforter set would be the best way to do it. Bring in the winter with some bright, happy colors in the house because we're going to need it. Colton loves orange. That is just one of his favorite colors. But his absolute obsession right now is cars. He loves everything cars, trucks, bulldozers. His two little race tracks that he's got. He absolutely, the, every day he plays with them. Now, most of their other toys, they, they both have like two toys that they play with all the time. His racetracks and his cars is something he plays with every single day. So, I got it 70% off on Amazon. It was $117 for the full queen. You know what I paid for it? I sent it to my mom and my sister. I was like, look at this deal I got on his bedspread. I think it was either 43 or 53 dollars i don't want to say exact look at this you guys it's got all the cars all the colors obviously the bedspread has a lot more but look at the back like the old junction signs and stuff i love it that's on the back of the quilt too i'm already rethinking painting their rooms different colors <laughs> it's just this is the truth both colors ended up being darker than even the little thing on top of the paint cans like colton's room was supposed to be chloe's room color and hers was supposed to be quite a few shades even lighter than that so not this winter though but we can lighten things up with bedspreads and curtains and stuff right now you guys he has orange sheets but look how good that's gonna look with his sheets the blue and the orange so i didn't have to get sheets because i knew this would match i don't think i've told you guys yet but i started chloe back in gymnastics here at home it's at our rec center our rec center is just the gym it's got workout area, areas birthday party as an indoor playground what we've been doing gymnastics didn't work out for colton what we've been doing while chloe's doing gymnastics sean and colton are going over to the other side of the gym to the indoor playground bubba still gets to uh, go out and do something and play with other kids while chloe is doing her gymnastics class but that'll give us something to do this winter too i'm obsessed like i can't help it i am obsessed with the back of this Oy! i absolutely love that is that not so cute i think he'll be so happy with it now i'm looking at the curtains and i'm like you don't my brain i have to stop they match the walls 
because eventually, you know, in time, we'll change these out again. But I would like to try to find him something, you know, that's got to do with cars for his curtains. So we'll have to see. Hey, Bubba! Come here, look! Bubby, look! Do you like it? Is that cars? Let's see mine. Well, you just got a new pink one. Do you like it? Look! Look, it's got all these cool signs on the back of it. Look here, an orange car, a blue car, red car, yellow car. Yay! Night night, are you sleepy? Oh, don't, babe. Mama's got to. Hey, let me see that pillowcase that was in here. You got cars, man? I think Daddy needs to get you a car bed. You need a princess bed. Unicorn bed. Now if you get them sleep in here. I know. <laughs> Listen, I didn't mention this, but the kids still sleep with us right now. We have tried multiple times. Everybody wakes up in an absolute panic, crying, and then the next three nights, they like will not go to sleep. Because usually I bring them in, put them to sleep, they're out in five minutes, I can go back out. But when I do that in their beds, they get scared, wake up crying, and then the next three nights, they're like, they will barely sleep because they're so afraid that I'm gonna put them in their bed. So. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this will help me get him in his bed too. <laughs> U X Y A G. Z. Okay, Bubby, let's identify letters without mama's help. Show mommy letter K, Colton. Very good. Can you show me letter, um, what about letter R? That's a hard one. Ah. Very good. Papa. That's an apple, yes. Ah, ah, ah. Show mommy letter Q. Q. Very good. Can you show me letter I? Ah. Very good. Good job, bud. Can you show mommy number one? Number one. Okay, you guys, we are about to start the shepherd's pie. So I've got the ground beef here, celery, bell pepper, onion, and garlic, mixed veggies. Pretty much your potatoes, your meat, whatever veggies you want to put in it. Let's start getting that bag peeled. First of all, I've got all my stuff chopped up, but first let's get this meat and everything else going. I love this brown gravy right here, me and Sean both do, so that's the brand we use. But all you gotta do is put one cup of cold water in the cup, put that gravy in. I think I might have figured out the problem with the light. Look, low, it does that. High, it does it. Don't ask me why, because in real time, real in person, it's not flashing like that on low. It's the oddest thing. Let's get our meat in the pan. Got that took care of. Let's put some seasonings. Just gonna do salt, lots and lots of pepper. My favorite, I'm gonna put a little bit of that in too, just to cook in with the meat. Little bit, lot, you put however much you want. Okay, I'm gonna let this meat cook up a little bit, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna throw the veggies in. While the meat and potatoes are just doing their thing over there, I'm gonna go ahead and put over a half a stick of butter right in this bowl. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little milk for now too. Oh, it smells so good. I'm definitely gonna need more, that's fine. I'll just put in the beef broth, a little bit more of it. Now we just let this cook. Oh my God, 
But this cast iron is huge and heavy. Now, we gotta spread the taters. All right, you guys, that filled that pan up. That is super heavy. But like I said, I've got the oven on 375. I'm gonna pop that in and let it cook for probably 15, 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on your taters. We have had to turn the heat on today because it is 49 outside and raining and windy and it is cold. Between this, the oven, the taters steaming in my face, I'm on fire. The dinner rolls, that's the bread we are having with I this. I want three. We know you want three, Sean. I mean, these only come ten, two, two meals. Sean puts this bag down. This old rainy, crappy weather, it ain't doing any of us any good today. Okay, thank God gymnastics is tomorrow and Colton can go to the indoor playground and burn off some steam for a while. You know, Kentucky's weather, the um, gray days, like we had, I have to say, this summer we had a beautiful summer. A lot of sunshine, thank you Lord. Those are clearly, slowly coming to an end and winter is setting in. I think it snowed in the Smoky Mountains today. That's three hours from us. They had posted on it, Some somebody that has cabins there, they had posted pictures. The gray days are setting in, the cold, rainy weather. We all get a little stir crazy. Winter came fast, didn't it? Is it fun? No. It's fun, huh? Ready to be plated. Does that look yummy? Yeah. It does, huh? Yeah. There it is, you guys. Yum. I think that is the most dishes that I've had to do. That took a minute. You know why? Because I skipped out on lunch dishes today. It's a lot washing dishes three times a day, three meals a day. It's a lot. So I skipped lunch today and I don't think I'm going to do that no more because it usually takes me, you know, seven, eight minutes to do the dishes really quick. That took a while. 